What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and the garage is all pretty much cleared up I know you guys have probably seen me with this white shirt the past couple videos I basically been concluding the rest of my videos, you know today So today's video guys, yes saw from the title of the video We're gonna go get the 435 in here and we're gonna go ahead and pretty much go Is it kind of shape right? Muffle delete. It's, actually, it's Falctronic. It's Falctronic. So it's, it's, it's like cool. a muffle delete. It's a muffle delete, cool. but then you, I'm gonna go down pipe soon. Oh, yeah so, you're, you're gonna be good. You're gonna it's, be. It's, it's, we're gonna be good too. But I just want to at least have some burbles. You guys can actually hear burbles on stock exhaust. We'll show you guys that right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the new exhaust setup. So this exhaust is from Valvetronic, guys. So you guys, can actually, I love how the welds look. I just, I can always respect a good weld, and this looks really good. So this is the muffler, and how the system works is basically the flow comes in, and then when you actually close the valves, this cuts off, I think, from right there, and then all the sound gets muffled. But if you open the valves, all the sound actually goes through, and you get a lot, lot it basically sounds like a muffled delete, which sounds a lot better. So if you have like a, a mid pipe and a catless down pipe, you can either suppress it, or make it super loud. So, that's sick. Some witchcraft on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like that. What I like about this kit also from Valtronic, guys, you guys can see that this head is a little bit bigger, so this actually goes over your stock exhaust, and you just clamp it. So, we're gonna cut, like, a lot more. We're not gonna cut it short, because then if you cut it short, you have to take it out of an exhaust shop and they have to weld it. So, we're actually gonna cut it with a lot of room extra, so we can go ahead and just put this clamp in between it, and then just tie it up, and then basically, this is an exhaust you guys can do at your house. You don't need to have any welding experience, and that's what's nice, and that's what I like about Valtronic because you know your boy doesn't know how to weld just yet. I know the basics, but I don't know how to weld it yet. It also comes with an extension because normally your valve, your 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 valve opening and closing comes on your F32s or F30s, but it's on that side. So the wire basically connects to the stock factory when it comes to this side. I'll show you guys all that hopefully. And then also the tips that I went with, guys, because you know your boy likes carbon. Um, I went ahead and got some forged carbon tips that say Valtronic on it. I think these look insane. I love carbon. I can't get enough of them. And also, you don't have to weld these. These are just direct bolt-on. And uh, this is gonna be a really easy exhaust to set up. So this is dope. Let's just go ahead and get to it. Damn, all right guys, so, for, dude, guys, oh my God, I love this car. The 435 is in here. Um, Stan sat pretty well. Joth is starting it up. Ooh, they hear right, the burble? I, I just put it in the... Uh, you just, there's a button right there, yeah. Click it into the Sport Plus. Oh, oh. So Sport Plus? Snap. Even turns off traction and everything. Oh. All right, cool, cool. So, drive to it, give it some, a few revs. This is on a completely stock exhaust. There's not a single thing done to it. So, here you go. So, you guys heard that said before. It's really nothing, to be honest with you guys. Like, now it's stage one and everything, and it feels pretty quick, but it sounds like a Prius. And honestly, when you put it in reverse, it sounds like a Prius. I don't know if you guys have <laughs> If you guys have this car, you know exactly what I mean. When you put this car in reverse, it sounds like it's using the battery, which I think it probably is using the battery. And it sounds like a Prius when you're putting it in reverse. It's kind of weird how it has like battery, turbos, an engine. It's so many things can go possibly wrong, but you know, we still love these cars. So, anywho. How do I lift it up? Huh? How do I lift it up? You want to air up? Yeah. Air All right. Up, not out. Yeah. Air up. Air up. So, basically, I, you, gotta put, you just got to put it in an accessory. So, you want to click it once and then hold it. So, click it and then hold it? Yeah, click it. And I'll hold it. And then it goes to like 130, I think. And then if you want to air out all the way, it's literally the same exact thing on the bottom. So you click it once, and then hold it again, airs out. This one's ride height. This is like the lower stance ride height. Okay. And yeah, this is like show mode. Yeah, yeah. So guys, um, no more stock sound. Nope, no more. It's about time, dude. I'm actually really excited. Yeah, I'm actually so excited to hear this. Because like, oh my God, like, <laughs> it's a twin turbo car. That's it's not gonna sound, huh? It's, it's I a, mean, I mean, it's, like, it's a turbo car. It's a turbo car. So it's good. You can, I think you can even hear the turbo spool even louder. Probably. We'll just do an exhaust mod. So like, it's gonna sound insane. Go to jack up the car. I'll show you guys where to cut, and uh, we'll just show you guys the full process and how it's all Valtronic. So let's get to it, my boy. So Jonathan jacked it up really high. I didn't even know you can jack up a car this high. So this is like monster truck status. I don't even know. It looks good. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I appreciate it. Guys, this thing looks like, looks crazy. I think this is, like you said, thumbnail, right? Thumbnail right now. I'm going to pick up the muffler. Let's get the thumbnail. <sighs> Shit's pretty mad. All right, guys. So now that we got the, pretty much the car up and everything, we got my uh, little so wireless sozzle thingy. Dude, guys, this thing's insane. I think it was like 80 bucks or something. Well worth every penny. I was able to use this a pick up pole wherever I go. It's completely wireless. And this thing's actually so strong. So anywho, so I don't know if you guys can see that bolt right there, but basically in that side is the, the valve. Basically, the car comes with a stock valve 
but it really doesn't do much considering how big this muffler is. And you guys can see that the pipe goes directly into the muffler, so it really doesn't do much. I mean, maybe in like cold starts, but it doesn't really do much. In terms for the exhaust, guys, I don't really know where to cut. So to be safe, I'm just gonna go ahead and line up the valve tronic right here and see how far it goes back. I think I'm gonna cut it right where that indent is. So I think that is like, oh, maybe that I put that there. I'm not really too sure. <laughs> but yeah, let me just bring, let me just bring that exhaust in here, and then we'll go ahead and figure that out. All right, let's let's see how this works. So this is probably gonna be like right here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Right. Should I get a, uh, a permanent marker and like mark it? Cool. So uh, we just marked it, guys, right over there. That I basically gave it like in the middle of this thing. Yeah. So when I put the clamp on it, it should be more. It should than be good. plenty. Don't, don't cut it like right here. That's too yeah, risky. Because then you're gonna have to go get it welded. Oh god, it sounds like a pain. This is supposed to be a bolt on kit. So in most cars you should remove this rubber grommet before you even take off the muffler. But in this car, you've got to move that bolt on both sides and then you can take these off when they're off the car, which is so much easier. So shout out to BMW for figuring out their crap. And uh, let's just uh, go ahead and take out those two bolts. Oh, we got to unplug the sensor real quick. Yeah. So this sensor is what I was talking about guys with the valve. It's like the original valve. So I got to unplug it. It even comes with the, the extended. I'll, I'll show you guys all that stuff. Let me just unplug this thing real quick. I've seen a video on this guy that goes straight from the cat. He takes off the cat and turns on the car like directly from the headers to the cat. And it sounded all right. And then when you put the whole exhaust, it actually sounded way better. Really? Like the exhaust actually makes a huge difference. So. Let's turn on like this to see what's Should we? Just for a little bit, for the start. No, why not? Yeah, we can compare the difference. Right now this is just a straight muffler delete. Um, show you guys how that sounds right now. Oof. Dude, it sounds way better. <laughs> I can finally hear something, guys. Oof. All right, all right. Go for it. One more time for the AC. So guys, it sounds pretty good, but with the pops and stuff, I heard that honestly, like this, the, the, the valve tronic is gonna help with that. So when we install it, we should hear pops, and obviously I'm gonna try to turn up the burble tune, and we'll hear it. Um, let's just put these side by side, honestly. I wanna see the difference. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Look Bro. how big that is compared to this. You guys heard it before, Ooh. like it should sound like before when the valves are closed. Yeah. When well, the valve is open, you should hear like what it sounds now, but a little bit better. It yeah. It should sound better. So we'll hear all that. Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and remove all these guys. We can take these off. This is gonna be a pain, I think. No, this, oh, wow. Yeah, you see how much easier it is when it's what? off the car? That was a, such a pain on the one, uh, the 128. Do we have to do it on the car? Yeah. Yeah. That's You're working up a sweat right over there, huh? Yeah, I'm dude. Cool. Now if that's on, just come out here and unplug the sensor like we did. And now uh, now we're ready to go. Now we can just go ahead and take out the three bolts and transfer that onto the new one. All right, guys. So you guys can see the orientation of this thing. The valves are closed. Open, closed. So how to orient this, you wanna basically orient it exactly like this. So when you set it down, the top half, like you guys can see this is like a full piece, the half piece. This is facing outwards when the valves are closed. So that's pretty much how you want it. Um, that's on the top. What we're gonna go ahead and do now, grab our uh, module, line it up just like so, and go ahead and tighten it all up now. <laughs> valves are closed, just wanna make sure. Yup. Looking good. Now we're ready. I think now we just put it in. Now we just put on the uh, yeah, actual... Yeah, fit that side in and then we can go ahead and install the bolts. <clears throat> All right guys, so this is pretty much the seal. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that like that. Slide that in. All right, so guys, we'll plug in the sensor later. As for now, we're just gonna go ahead and line up the back part of the exhaust and then we'll go ahead and put up the hangers. I love how light, I love how light this exhaust is. I know, it's so it's light. It's so light. Like, the muffler is such a pain, but this one's so light. Oh God, I think I might need to get down there and hold it. <laughs> Um, we kept on playing with the clamp. Half the half of the muffler has to go in, half of the exhaust has to go in. The clamp goes over, you just tighten it up. But uh, to get the perfect fitment that you want, you wanna make sure you move the exhaust where you want it, have somebody looking at where the tips are, 
and then tighten them up. Um, something you can do is just go ahead and put the two hanger screws in just to have the muffler up, helps you out. Anywho, then we can just put in the, the tips now. Yeah, mm -hmm. just the tips. That's a little too high. Yeah. We're gonna have to lower the exhaust a little bit more. That's pretty good. Is yeah? Yeah. So uh, now we have to just plug in the pretty much the extender. Uh, basically, on the origin on the car from factory, the cable is right over here. So we saw plug that in, just like that. Plug it in. We're gonna go ahead and just fish the wire over here, and then now it's on this side. So right, now that it's clicked in, we just gotta pretty much feed this wire somewhere down here. All right, guys. So now. That the valve tronic is installed. Look at these tips, guys. Like carbon on forged carbon, valve tronic. These look pretty sick. So, to open up the valves, all you gotta do is put it in sport. And then when you put it in comfort, it closes it. Oh, for real? We'll, we'll test it. So, right. is it an eco? Yeah. All right, rev it. All right, yeah. So, when you put it in eco, guys, the valve stays closed. All right, put it in sport. <laughs> rev it, rev it. Put it in comfort, put it, dude, it changes. So yes, see, when it's in comfort, only when he revs it, the valve opens. So rev it. Yeah, so basically the valve stays closed, and then when you rev it, it opens and closes. And when you put it in sport, it stays open. So okay, good. put it in sport now. Sport plus. Sport plus. <laughs> Okay, okay, so people just, okay, so you guys heard, with just some muffler delete, it, it sounds like a regular rev. Yeah. But with the exhaust, guys, it makes it, okay, I turn off the, put in eco mode. So you guys heard how crazy it sounds in Sport Plus. This is eco, so if a cop, you see a cop, put in eco. I don't know what you're talking about, absolutely. Oh, I don't have any exhaust. That's crazy. I'll rev it and I'll keep it like, That's comfort. Now put it in sport. All right, is that sport or sport plus? Sport. All right, put it in sport plus. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. guys I'm going to have to FaceTime on my friends right now. I need a moment to myself. All right, Jonathan said we have to take it out for a test spin now. Yeah, yeah let, let's go. He's <laughs> jacking up so quick. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're about to take it for a little spin. Rev it. <laughs> no way. Dude, I haven't even, I haven't even turned on burble tin. You haven't turned on burble tin? It doesn't even have burble tin. Can you do that? Yeah. Really easily? Yeah, just pull my computer, plug it in, turn up the burbles. All right, guys, so something I noticed when I was driving, so if I have it on auto, so if I put it in, uh, right now it's in sport, right? If I put it in, Eco, the clo the valve closes. When yeah. I rev it, nothing. When I put the car in sport, rev it, I have it. When I'm driving, it's pretty much always turned off. I, I don't know why, even in sport, as soon as I park, it will activate again. So you will have to get this app that uh, Valvetronic recommends. And basically, if I click close. Yeah, I heard it close. Click open, you hear it open. So but we have our valves open. So I'm gonna keep it open, I'm gonna leave it open. And if I ever get pulled over, I'm just gonna click close on it. Uh, this app is about $32, but you can activate your valves. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but literally, if I go on here, close. It's really quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. Open, but I, we can hear it from inside the car, which is nice. Yeah. So now that the valves are open, we should be able to hear the uh, the burbles. It's just a little bit. It sounds louder. Oh, I can actually hear a burble now because before we couldn't hear a burble guys, so we're just like <laughs> Yeah, okay, I can definitely hear it now. Yeah. I'm way more satisfied with that. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the install and it sounds really good like Dude, that sounds insane. It sounds really it sounds good. sounds so good. And then obviously when you put it in uh, comfort, eco Nothing. Yeah. 
Like it sounds soft, which is, I mean, maybe a little bit better than stock, but still sounds soft. If you guys want to see me turn up the burbles with the tune, because this car also has a boot mode three tune that's not really like, it doesn't have anything done to the exhaust. If you guys want me to turn on the burbles, make sure to smash the like button in the next video. I'll make sure to turn up the burbles. Even if it kills my cats, I'll just go down pipes. It's all good. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that video, make sure to smash that like button. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.